Hey guys, welcome back to Luke's Vintage RC. So if you're new to my channel, welcome. This is a dedicated RC card channel where we like to bring back Left 4 Dead RCs. We like to do RC boats, cars, trucks, and uh, even some custom RCs uh, on the channel. So if you see an RC car in a movie, I try to re replicate that on the channel. I've got a couple of them, I promise. If you go through my uh, log of videos, I guarantee you're going to find something on there you like that's from the movies. So, what we got here is something really unique and very special. This was a gift to me from the RC Elf. So, if you're not familiar who that is, do uh, you know after the video or or even now you pause and just type in RC Elf. He likes to make donations and uh, send gifts out to uh, YouTubers who are doing RC content who are uh, just starting out. And uh, just to say thank you for making YouTube videos about RC cars. So how amazing is that? What a superhero in my book. So this is a card that I've always wanted. And with the help of the RC Elf, uh, who graced this to the channel, I was able to build it. And uh, just, I love it. So let's talk about it. So this is a 1989 uh, Academy Minicraft RC Models Mirage four by four or four wheel drive. Not many of these out there, especially running. This will be probably the first video of this car ever on YouTube running around. So quite, quite a special thing. Um, I just adore it. So it's got an awkward beauty to it. I mean, I don't know how, how really else, how, how really to say it, but it just, it's, it grabs your eye. Um, so, uh, this one here is got some unique qualities to it, uh, versus your typical, uh, RC cars. Um, it's a hard shell body, oil fill shocks that are anodized and have adjustable collars to them. Um, telescoping, uh, drive shafts on all four corners. Um... Nylon, hardened, um, heavy duty nylon cups for the front and the rear. Aluminum throughout for the front to hold the uh, shocks on and the back. So, so cool. Now, not a super fast car. It, it just uses a basic uh, 540 uh, white end belt. So, pretty basic on that account but a lot of fun to drive, let me tell you. Now, this car uh, does have a differential with ball bearing. The rest of it's all just bushings, but uh, I got ball bearings in this one. So, but uh, yeah, just so cool. Uh, let me show you something though, I think is quite interesting. Let me move this box for a second. If I wouldn't know no better, I would have thought this may have been a futuristic version of this car, but not by many years, because this is from 1986. This is a Tamiya big wig. Many people are familiar with this car, um, because it, it was a, just a huge bestseller for this to Tamiya company. Now this car was designed by uh, Mr. Yura. I'll show you a picture of that uh, amazing man. So super cool. Let me show you these together with the bodies off. Check it out. Not identical, but inspiration must have been uh, from the big wig here. It's just so cool. This one has drive shafts, uh, like just regular steel shafts, while this has the telescoping ones. That's neat. Not identical, but I can tell you, I think the inspiration came from this guy. For good reason. This was a, a you know, a, a kind of a revolutionary RC, in my opinion, in the world of RC. So, super cool. We will definitely be doing a restoration of this one in the future, so definitely... You want to stay tuned in on this guy. 
There's also something else to show you. Put the body back on here with the boxes. The number, the racing number on this one is number five. Racing number on this one, number five. So that's just the coolest thing. So if you have this car, definitely leave some uh, comments down below. What a cool thing. I just love it. So in this video, you're gonna see us uh, do the entire uh, uh, build of this car and you're gonna see the running and the top speed. So how great is that? So that's all gonna start right now. All right, let's go ahead and start the building uh, process of this beautiful buggy. goodies out right there So everything's laid out on the table. We can sort of see everything better now. Um, what I like to do is uh, get all the bolts and screws and stuff like that and get them in a container uh, that's going to be associated with the first part of the build. So let's go ahead and crack our Mirage page one and see what it says. Start get my fingers underneath there. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is start getting the servo uh, set in here. All right, so now we freed the body and a, a good portion of the chassis from the bag. We need to free these two pieces apart. There's a screw here right in the front, and there's one screw right, right in the back. So once you unscrew those, these pieces will come undone, and I can move on to the next stage.
let's go ahead and slap some paint on this bad boy. Alrighty, so we're getting closer and closer to getting the uh, finished product all done up. We gotta put some stickers on this uh, uh, freshly painted car. Then we get into the running and in the uh, top speed portion of the video, which was really cool. So without further ado, let's go ahead and put some stickers on. Alrighty guys, so we're based off zero. Let's see how fast the uh, Mirage 4x4 will go. Now remember, it is still running its typical 540 motor that came with the car. So it's you know, it's not super brushless or nothing. Looks like we got uh, 17 miles an hour. Not too shabby for what it is. Alrighty, so now we're gonna go straight into the running portion of the video. Now for the running portion of the video. All right, she's off. I will say it drives pretty smooth for what it is. Um, yeah, transitions nicely. Got a good balance. Very attractive car out in sunlight, I'll tell you. It is, it is with the yellow paint scheme, or the yellow stickers, I should say. Shocks are doing their job, that's for sure. A happy running car. All righty. Now let's run her a little bit on the off-road section. It is a little low. Let's see if I can get a little bit of a, got a little bit of a, of a wheel spin there. Oh, there we go. A little bit of another we will action. All that articulation. 
How beautiful was that? All right, let's go do a jump. Nice. So I can at least get all righty. I think we're going to uh, bring her in now. All righty, guys, that's gonna be a wrap on this bad boy. I truly appreciate you guys watching my videos, it means the world to me. Um, please stay tuned for some really cool RCs up ahead. And I'm super pleased at the way this one turned out. What a cool RC. And it drove really nice too. Not a speed demon by no accounts, but it's purely in stock form, guys. You know, old white end bell motor. You gotta love it, though. So, go Mirage, I'd say. A success. Alrighty, guys, if you can, please hit that like button. And please, please subscribe to my channel. I promise you're not gonna wanna miss what's coming up next. Bye, guys.